Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Daikin Sonny here, bringing you some more Genshin Impact content. And today, I'm going to talk about my top 5 mistakes I think you should avoid while playing this game. Before we get started, definitely want to give a huge shout out to all the people that have been supporting the content so far. Definitely good to see all you guys engaging. And if you're new to the channel, definitely don't be afraid to hit that like subscribe button. It greatly helps me out and get more people to see these videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with mistake to avoid number 1. And that's exploring the world before you get your starter characters. I know it's very tempting to try to start off and explore everything that you possibly can inside this beautiful world of Taviat, but it's definitely not recommended that you do that. You're definitely going to want to get the other three characters, which are going to be Amber, Kaya, and Lisa. Now, Amber is going to be a given because she's going to be the first one you get, and she's going to try to get you to go to the city, which you definitely want to do because once you do that, you're going to be put inside the story, and you're going to do a few instances of dungeons, and you're going to get the other characters. Once you get the final character, you are free to go. You can go explore everything that you want. The reason why this is stated not to really do beforehand is because there are a lot of things in this side of the world that you're not going to be able to do. There's a lot of puzzles and there's going to be a lot of like element shrines that you're not going to be able to activate and stuff like that because you're not going to have the characters to do so. So it's definitely, definitely recommended that you actually wait before you start exploring. So the second mistake to avoid is actually upgrading two star or lower weapons and artifacts. The reason you won't, don't want to do this is because once you start getting to the three star range, this is when things start getting a little bit better, especially for weapons, because three star weapons or higher are going to have a second stat on top of weapon skills. And these are going to be very important, and this is why you definitely want to wait for those. Now as far as artifacts go, artifacts are going to have a higher base percentage when it first starts, and they're actually not going to be able to be leveled up as high if you start upgrading 2 star or lower grade artifacts. So you definitely just want to think of these, the weapons and the artifacts as far as the 2 star or lower go as pretty much fodder for upgrading your either weapons or other artifacts. So definitely just don't use those. Obviously you're going to, have to use them at the beginning, but don't really invest into them. You want to invest into some three stars and four stars when it comes to the use and potentially when you finally get them, some five star weapons and artifacts. And the third thing to basically avoid here is using your ores for forging two tier and three tier enchantment ores. The reason you don't want to do this is because those ores are pretty rare to find around the world. Now of course you can find them by going to the forging guy and then he will tell you with the location of where some of the materials are but these materials are still pretty rare and you don't want to use them on enchantment orbs which you could get through basically like most chests what you want to save up for are basically these forging weapons that you see here so the forging weapons are going to be some good four star beginner ones you can get they actually got some pretty good weapon skills on some of them so definitely save up your resources for these instead rather than enchantments which you can get through basic chest rewards Mistake number four to avoid is going to be sitting on full recent. Now, if you don't know what recent is, it's the energy of this game. Now, you don't need energy for every single thing that you do in the game. The energy is basically going to be used for the Leyline Collection Rewards, Dungeons, and Bosses are going to be your main reasons of where you're going to be using your recent at. Now, this is going to be a big important part for you, how you're going to get a bunch of adventure rank, how you're going to get a bunch of Resources that you're going to need these are going to be the places where you're going to get artifacts and weapon ascension materials As well as other good things for completing bosses such as very specific rare character ascension materials and Prototype weapons so definitely make sure you're always spending your recent and don't let it sit full if it's full Definitely use some so it can start regenerating so you can optimize your recent always you always want it to be Basically on the region and and not on the full and if it's full definitely definitely make sure it's not and the final thing i think people should avoid and that's using food when it's unnecessary now food is a good resource to use especially for healing uh if you need shields or regen and stuff like that it's a definitely good thing to use but the amount of resources that you do from exploring the world are going to be limited or not rather limited but are time consuming to basically gather in order to create these exquisite foods so you basically want to save these resources for when you really need them like boss battles or a specific dungeon instance that you're in these are one of the times you're really going to want to use the food if you're in the open exploration of the world you can basically use your statues to heal up especially if you got a lot of hp left in the statues it definitely it saves up and it rebuilds over time and you can use that to heal up especially if you're really close to one or if you are right, right next to it like a waypoint so you can go to a statue and then go back to the waypoint to go back where you were at 
is better than using your actual food because like i said before the resources to get are definitely a little bit time consuming and you don't want to spend all those resources when you could be saving them for something a little bit more harder or a little bit more necessary to use them for and that's it for my quick five mistakes i think you guys should avoid while playing genshin impact let me know down in the comments below if this was helpful or you think there's another mistake that you think other players should avoid as well definitely put that down in the comments below so we can help each other out anyway if you like anything you had to say drop me a like i greatly appreciate it and if you want to hear more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications so you know the next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see you next time signing out